I want to take this opportunity to do a couple things this morning. First and foremost is we want to make sure that uh, we reaffirm our commitment to NCA Division II. There's been uh, quite a bit of comment in and around the community and in some of the local media wondering because of our non-conference affiliation if we would be making a change and re-looking at what we had decided over a year ago and uh, leaving the N NEIA and we just want to make sure that everybody in our community and within our campus community understands that we are fully committed to the NCA Division II change. We are in the process, we are in the second year of candidacy and it's important that we continue our efforts to try to enhance our overall institution and overall, overall make this a better place for our student athletes. We think that move to the NCA is what we need to do. As Dr. Wharton would often say in continuous and quality improvement, this is definitely a situation that is helping us. The overall brand of the NCA helps us in recruiting and because we are recruiting on a more nationwide basis, it is important that the institution use the brand as to the best of its ability and to seek the very best student athletes that we have available. The other question that's often asked of us is about conference affiliation. At the present time, we do not have a conference affiliation. We are one of the only independent institutions in the Midwest and in this part of the country, but that has not stopped us from looking at other opportunities. We are currently uh, looking at uh, school, schools, other schools that have affiliation titles. We are looking at conferences that might provide us affiliations with various sports. Uh, we are looking as far west as the, as the West Coast in the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. We are also looking at potentially other conferences like the RMAC or the MIAA as it relates to specific sports. We are not stopping our move towards Division II just because of a conference affiliation situation. We know it's going to be difficult for a while, but we're hopeful that the institutions that make up the various conferences that we're talking to will see us as a viable candidate and eventually provide us an opportunity to be a conference affiliate. That's very important to us and very important to our student athletes. In a second mode, we would also like to use this opportunity to announce something that's not happened at the South Dakota School of Mines for men's sports in almost 45 years. We will be adding a new men's sport effective fall 2012. We will be adding men's soccer, the first time we've ever had men's soccer at this institution as an intercollegiate sport. We are excited about this opportunity. The last year, as far as we can tell, that a new sport was added was in 1965. So this is a big change for us. We hope that it will be an addition that will be uh, popular with our students and popular with the community. Dr. Wharton and I have been discussing ever since my arrival the potential of adding sports. We've looked at various opportunities and we feel like this is the best opportunity and the best uh, change for us to be involved with providing sports. The university no longer recruits on a, on a regional basis. We are much more nationwide and we also seek foreign country and that kind of diversity. So we feel like the students that we are now attracting are more exposed to the uh, sport of soccer than ever before. And we feel like it's a natural fit for us. We think that it assists the college in a variety of ways. It provides more students, which is a basic format within our strategic plan of, of growing to potentially 4,000 students by 2020. It satisfies a current need of our present students. We have two, at least two different soccer clubs on campus that play on a regular basis, and this will provide them an opportunity to play on an intercollegiate basis. It will provide a more diverse culture. It helps us with Title IX. We are one of the few institutions in America that actually has to be very careful that we provide enough opportunities for men versus females. Our population of 78% male, 22% female, and the undergraduate uh, overall population mandates that we have to provide those kind of opportunities for our men. And most importantly, it also provides a viable opportunity for us to be a better candidate for an NCA division conference, which is very important. 
the various regional soccer clubs within the community have been very supportive and have thrown out all of their uh, efforts to make sure that this becomes a success for all of us. We will plan on developing the program starting in fall 2012. It will begin as a non-scholarship program. We hope to have about 30 players. Uh, coach hiring will begin within the next week and we hope to have that coach on board as early as just after the first of the year. And we are currently in the process of developing a schedule. We will play a limited schedule next year to some accord and then have a full schedule in 2013. We're excited about this opportunity to have a college sport added to our program. We're excited about the nature and the quality of student athlete that it'll bring in. And we think it's the best thing for this college. With that, I will open it up for questions. Um, the soccer team, uh, what facility are you uh, eyeing that they would play their games on? We have talked to the various soccer organizations on, uh, around the community. There will be some fields available. There's many outstanding fields in and around the community. When NAU had their soccer club, they played on Omaha Street. We've also been talked about the uh, stadium up where <coughs> uh, the track is up by Bacon Park. And then we also will play some of the games on our own field once it's painted with soccer lines. Do you see any interest right now by any students? Well, with our current students, uh, I'm sure they have over 30-some players involved in club soccer, so I know there'll be a tremendous uh, exhilaration that we're adding intercollegiate sports. I think we've not had an opportunity to judge or gauge that interest because we've never had soccer before, but now as soccer becomes a viable sport, I'm sure our admission directors will use that as a potential recruiting tool. We've been asked that repeatedly by potential students in the past, but haven't been able to answer it positively. Um, you know, with respect to the conference, you know, obviously this is, you know, the push towards NCAA. You don't really, you know, you're going to go forward without the conference for right now. I mean, um, ideally, time frame. I mean, is this something that, you know, joining a conference you'd like to have done as soon as possible, if you could? Or? If we had an opportunity to join a positive conference, we'd probably do it tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, it's imperative that we eventually get into a conference because scheduling be, will become very, very difficult. We are making the most of the difficult situation now, but ultimately being involved in a conference is, is something that just has to happen. Everybody got it? Yeah. Thank you.